Previously on Big Brother. Moments before his eviction, Andrew dropped a bomb. Is there someone else in this house that have a stronger relationship? It's a romantic relationship. It's Kristen and Hayden. Mazel tov to all. Good luck. After Rachel oh. took control yet again. Congratulations. For the second time this season, you are the new head of household. All hell broke loose. Flurries, you better grab a life vest. Kristen. When you asked me, I said I wasn't sure because you know what? what? I don't lie. The brigade immediately began damage control. When Rachel tried to make peace... I just want to apologize for heat of the moment and whatever. Kristen kept the war alive. I don't accept your apology and I, I just feel like it was complete bull what you did. I extended an olive branch and you threw it in my face. Wrong move, biatch. Worried about losing his showmance, Hayden offered some advice. I mean, if you want me to talk to them, I will. I should. So Kristen swallowed her pride and made a last minute plea. Whatever you do, for me or against me, I'm gonna take into huge consideration. But it was too little, too late. I have nominated you, Kristen, and you, Hayden, for eviction. Bring it on. Who will win the power of veto? And will it be used to save either Kristen or Hayden from eviction? Find out tonight on Big Brother. Of course, Avi. nominated you, Kristen, and you, Hayden, for eviction. I fight every day to be here, and frankly, I haven't seen you two fighting. Furthermore, you grinding for me and Brendan, so bring it on. This nomination ceremony is adjourned. Rachel nominated Kristen and I because she thinks we're coming after her. Everybody's coming after you. Nobody likes you or Brendan. Every time I talk to Rachel, I tend to throw up in the back of my mouth. In my head, I was thinking, you bitch. But I anticipated that she was going to put me and Hayden up together. I'm going to do whatever it takes to stay in this house without hurting Hayden. I told Kristen and Hayden to bring it on. <laughs> like, I don't even know where that came from, but if they're gonna come after Brendan and I, bring it on. Like, I'm not scared of them. Sorry, that went better in my head. Babe, why do you keep saying this stuff? Bring it on? Come on. I don't know. You're asking people, like, I don't. You think we're unstoppable? I didn't mean to say that. I don't think we're unstoppable. Well, I know, but. It just came out, I'm sorry. Man, bring it on. <sighs> I didn't mean to say that. I'm... Well, I know, but it just comes off as like, you know? Okay, well, fine, get mad at me. No, I'm, I'm not to... mad at you, babe. I'm just telling you, if you like challenge people to come after us, guess what's gonna happen? They're gonna come after us. I really didn't mean to say that. Then I, I strongly think that you need to go apologize. No. <sighs> you have to play smart, babe, you know? Guess what? Now he wants again for us. Yeah, we can probably beat him, but all those other people down there now feel bad for him. I don't want you to be upset with me. Baby, no. I'm sorry I'm upset, but you just made a ballsy move. And the only way that you're gonna hopefully salvage this situation is by going and apologizing to the two people that you just challenged to take us down. If we don't do that, we are gonna be doomed. I, I'm telling you right now. I love you very much. Brennan, stop it. Will you consider apologizing to them for what you said? Sure. 
Should I just assume that's a no? I'm, I'm asking you. Rachel. <laughs> this sucks. All because of a little show me. What did we do to each other? One of us has to win tomorrow. The only way one of us stays is if Katie goes up and up. It's the only way. If I'm against anybody else besides Katie, same here. And I love Candy, but she kissed me. She likes a lot. Hey, I want to let you guys know that no hard feelings, it's not like a personal thing. Felt like it. Well, it's not personal. That's the thing. So next week, if we win and we put you guys up and I take a shot at you. I mean, I would assume Rachel. that you would, Hayden. So. You get what I'm I mean, I'm not, I do. I'm not going to say anything else. I'm just apologizing for that comment, and I'm sorry that you guys take it personally. Come on. Can't tell you that I love you very much. I don't know why you doubt me so much. If we turn on each other, then we're both. Who's turning on each other? Brendan, I'm like, seriously, I just need you to be on my team and not against me. I, who says I'm against you? I don't even know if it's like, what's going on or the reason behind it. I, I'm sorry, I felt bad for Kristen and Hayden. They just got put in the block. Why don't you feel bad for me that I had to put them on the block? I do feel bad that for you. That I was up here crying while you are I do. Brendan. Do you, are, you, are you not so tired of fighting? When you when you challenged the entire house to come get us, I perceived it as you being a bully. Fine, I'm sorry, and I apologize to everyone. That's what you wanted. I did it. We what am I supposed to do? Go bake everyone cookies and sing kumbaya to them? I'm sorry. This is Big Brother. I'm not being a bully. I'm not being a villain. I'm not being a bitch. Guess what, Brendan? <sighs> I've been fighting. I know, and you keep using this word I. Because like, it makes me feel invisible. Are you kidding? It makes you feel invisible. Like, I, where did I go all of a sudden? Like, I haven't been here. I'm, I'm over this. I'm done with fighting. I, I wouldn't have said I love you if I didn't feel that. You better start separating how you're acting toward me or there won't be a relationship. I love you. I, I do. I don't want to be with you. It's time to pick players for the veto competition! Only six people will participate in the veto competition. The head of household, the two nominees, and three other players selected by random draw. Will the nominees please join me up here? I gotta win the veto competition so I can save myself. And if I do come off the block, there's a chance I can save Kristen too. If I don't, there's that chance that I'm going home. In this veto competition, I have to completely fight for myself because Hayden is right up there with me fighting for himself and I have no other option. As HOH, I will pick first. Brittany! <laughs> Picking Brittany, I think, is a really good thing because as far as I know, I think she's going to keep the nominations the same. Reagan. I pull Reagan's name out of the bag. That's bad news because Reagan is a serious floater. He's not going to use the veto on anybody. And so. I'm happy to play in the veto competition. I want to keep the nominations the same. I'm very confident that Hayden and Loste will get the votes. Let's get Kristen out of here. That's it. I also have to choose a host for the veto competition, and I choose Brendan. <laughs> Good luck. Oh my God. Wizards of Pinball. Oh my oh, god. Pinball. We walk outside in 
there's just pinball machines everywhere. And then there's a huge pinball table at the back of the backyard. Welcome, great wizards of pinball. I hope you brought your magic touch to today's veto competition. In each round, you'll get one shot on the giant pinball table. The object of the game is to shoot your pinball into the center veto slot. The further your ball lands from the veto, the lower your score. After each round, the player with the lowest score is eliminated. But no one leaves this game empty-handed. The person who's eliminated at the end of each round will earn a prize. One of which is the power of veto. But don't get too attached because the eliminated players from later rounds may choose to keep their prize or exchange it with any of the items that have already been revealed. I'm the only person that I know for sure will keep the nominations the same. So it's really, really important for me to come out of here with all the power in my hands. Going into the veto competition against Kristen is terrible. You know, I want her to stay, but realistically, I'm playing against her in this competition. I need a win. Let round one begin. Brittany, you're up first. Brittany, you are up next. Why do you have to be so dramatic? You're a homo sapien, Brendan. You're not a wizard. Brittany, you've scored a five. Kristen, you are up next. Kristen, you scored a two. When Kristen got the two, I was secretly screaming on the inside with excitement. I seriously doubt anyone's gonna do any worse. It's perfect. Hayden, you are up next. Nice. Woo. Congratulations, Hayden. You've made a perfect shot. Right now, you lead the game. Rachel, you are next. It's getting crazy in this house now. No one's talking, no one's looking at each other. You can cut the tension with a machete. Oh, holy cow. Reagan, you are up next. Congratulations, Reagan. You made a perfect shot. Enzo, you are up next. You need to score better than a two to stay in the game. Ah! Get in there! That's it. Congratulations, Enzo. After round one, Kristen, you have been eliminated from the competition. I couldn't be happier that Kristen is out of the game. The brigade needs the nominations to stay the same because we're pretty sure we have the votes to keep Hayden, and I definitely don't want to go up in his spot. I don't want the stress. Come and claim your prize. You just conjured up the power of veto. It was bittersweet to get the veto first because I knew at some point somebody else was gonna snatch it. Round two will begin. Hayden, you are up first. You scored a five. All right, good try, all right. Rachel, you're up next. You scored a five. Reagan, you're up next. Reagan, you have scored a one. Enzo, you're up next. Brittany, you need to be the one to remain in the game. Two. <laughs> Brittany, you scored a two. Reagan will be eliminated. Reagan, claim prize number two. Veto ticket. The holder of this ticket is guaranteed a spot in the next week's veto competition. Would you like to keep this power for yourself or trade it for the power of veto? I'd like to keep the veto ticket. Playing for veto is always important in this game. You never know when you're going to need it. Pivot. Rachel, you scored a six. Oh. 
Touch it, feel it. Ma, come on. Enzo, you have scored a one. This week has been crazy, crazy intense. Nobody's speaking to one another. Even the people watching the competition aren't speaking to one another. It was dead silence. You could have heard crickets out there. Hayden must be the one to remain in this game. Sorry, Enzo, but you have the lowest score in round three. Please claim prize number three. 3D flat screen TV. Oh, not bad. Enzo, would you like to keep the 3D flat screen TV? I'll keep it. A 3D television. This is beautiful. I'm getting the glasses for me, wifey, and uh, my little poopa, my little daughter. She's gonna be eight months old with little 3D glasses. Now we are down to Brittany, Hayden, and Rachel. Let round four begin. Brittany, you're up first. You made a perfect shot. I'm wizarding it to come to me. Hayden, you're up next. With a perfect shot, you are now tied for first place. Rachel, you must make it in the veto slot to remain in the game. Rachel, you scored a six. Unfortunately, that was not good enough. Come claim your prize. A second chance. Rachel, you must choose one of the prizes that have already been revealed. But choose carefully, because the owner of the prize you take will magically be given a second chance and return to the pinball game. Which prize would you like? I would like the veto ticket and send Reagan back into the game. I decided to put Reagan back in the game because I think that he would keep the nominations the same. Reagan is one of my biggest allies I have right now in the game. So I'm really needing Reagan to fight for the POV. Let round five begin. You scored a six. I suck at this game. Reagan, you have scored a one. Great shot, Brittany. Reagan, sorry, but you had the lowest score in round five. Please claim your prize. $5,000. Congratulations, Reagan. The holder of this $5,000 can keep it or give it to any other player at any point in time for any reason. Would you like to keep this prize for yourself? I'm always somebody who thinks long term in this game. I don't want any type of target on my back. So $5,000 is kind of like a hot potato to me right now. I will trade Rachel $5,000 for the veto Please ticket. No, I'm, I'm happy to do it. No. What is he doing? I don't want a $5,000 target on my back. Brendan and I have enough targets on our back. Please go claim your prize and have a seat. There's so much tension going on in the house right now that people are not accepting cash. You're here to win money. As the people keep getting knocked off, I still hold the power of veto. I'm thinking that there could be a chance here that things could work out to my advantage. Maybe I can hold on to this power of veto after all. This is the final round. It is between Brittany and Hayden. This is huge for me. I gotta take this down just to make sure I'm gonna be safe. This is it, all the marbles, man. Brittany, you're up first. Congratulations, Brittany. In the final round, you have made a perfect shot. To remain in the game, Hayden must make the ball in the veto slot. This game is intense. These games are all intense. Congratulations, Brittany. In the final round, you have made a perfect shot. To remain in the game, Hayden must make the ball in the veto slot. 
I got all the pressure in the world right on my shoulders right now. My entire game strategy is riding on this one pinball shot. Hayden, you have scored a five. Unfortunately, that does not beat Brittany's Beto slot shot. Claim your prize. Hippie tarp. You have earned the privilege of wearing the hippie tarp for one full week. Would you like to keep the hippie tarp or trade it for the veto ticket, the 3D flat screen TV, the $5,000, or the power of veto? Hayden, we're boys. Don't even peek at my 3D flat screen TV, bro. Don't do it. I'm going to trade for the power of Vito. I'm sorry, Kristen. I have to. I have to take the Vito from Kristen. My safety is my number one priority. Plus, there's a chance Brittany won't take it from me because who knows what's going through her head. Part of me was a little bit discouraged, but I understood his logic behind it because he has to fight for himself, too. It's Brittany, claim your prize. Solitary confinement. You have just earned 24 hours of solitary confinement. Would you like to escape the craziness of the Big Brother house and keep solitary confinement or trade it? I am praying right now that I can rely on Brittany to keep the nominations the same. I really want her to take the veto because she's my only hope right now. Hayden's going to use it and I'm hoping Brittany won't. I'd like to trade with Hayden for the power of veto. Congratulations, Brittany. You have won the power of veto and are the wizard of pinball. I now hold the fate of these people in my little hands. And guess what? I like it that way. It's the worst thing that could have ever happened. If I was up against anybody else, I would fight, 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 fight. But the bottom line is, is I'm up against him. He's the person that I don't want to fight against. I'll see you in 24 hours. And I'm crushed. Solitary confinement. I was already pissed because I lost the competition. It's just adding fuel to the fire. I could be screwed this week. Is this it? Are you gonna come back out? It's cold, yo, it's cold in there right now. I know, I just grabbed my, there's a lot of blankets though. Uh, I got French bread and slop in here. I got a toilet too. <laughs> oh, this is brilliant. Hey, you guys all suck. <laughs> Should have been the hippie, bro. The worst part about being in solitary confinement is the fact that I'm on the block and I feel like I need to be out playing the game, talking to people, and it worries me, you know? I don't want to go home. After all was said and done during the veto competition, I ended up with the fabulous hippie tard. Who wants to see my hippie turn? Oh, <laughs> That's awesome! The first time I seen Krista come out wearing that hippie tard, I was thinking, damn, peace never looks so good. Oh my gosh, Kristen looks ridiculous. This costume is so much worse than I ever would have thought that it would be. That's hilarious. <laughs> oh my god, that's embarrassing, man. You gotta give your eviction speech dressed in that thing, looking like a bootleg little orphan Annie. <laughs> oh, this is crazy, man. That ain't right, yo. Um. Are you up? Yeah. 
just you out there? Uh-huh. We got screwed. <sighs> yeah, we did. I don't want you to go home, though. Mom, I'm going to try my best to make that not happen, but at least you'll still be here. Does my finger stick out? I really want you to stay. You do know that, right? Yep. I promise I have nothing but good intentions for you. Hey. What? Don't be upset. I never thought that I would walk into this house and even shed one tear ever. And I'm breaking down right in front of a door that he's on the other side of. And it's just, it's very hard for me in this house right now. You right? Mm -hmm. America, do you want to impact the Big Brother game? A new saboteur may be unleashed on the Big Brother house, and this time, you get to choose who it will be. If Pandora's box is opened, the house guest with the most votes will be given an offer to become the new saboteur for the next two weeks. The power's in your hands, America. Text the number of the house guest you would like to see become the new saboteur to 81818. It's $1 per text message vote. Text 1 for Brendan, 2 for Brittany, 3 for Enzo, 4 for Hayden, 5 for Kathy, 6 for Kristen, 7 for Lane, 8 for Matt, 9 for Rachel, or 10 for Reagan. Tune in Sunday night, August 8th at 8, 7 central to see how it all plays out. Maximum 10 text message votes. If the person with the most votes is evicted, the person with the next most votes will be given the offer to become the saboteur. If the house guest declines the offer or if the head of household doesn't open Pandora's box, there will not be a saboteur from this vote. For free online voting, go to cbs.com slash bigbrother. Votes will be accepted until 11.59 p.m. Pacific time, Wednesday, August 4th. Solitary confinement sucks. I'm laying there on my back. An hour seems like 12 hours. A minute seems like an hour. Time is just ticking so slow. I'm bored out of my mind. You know, it's, it's a brutal situation. Brigade gets the animal back today. We gotta let the animal out today. He's hungry in there. <laughs> the animal's hungry in there, yeah. He's gonna tear up when we let him out. No. Yeah. We, we gotta calm him down for it first, you know. Right when we let him out, we gotta train him back to normal. Our brigade member, AKA the animal, I haven't seen the guy in almost a day, you know. I don't know what he looks like. You better come out with like a full grown beard. I want a beard, <laughs> maybe like missing a tooth. You know what I mean? I want him to come out rugged. <laughs> down right He's now. like Hannibal Lecter in it. We gotta put a yeah. mask on him. Yeah. The whole time he's thinking and just thinking of killing when he's in there right now. We're giving you life, we're bringing you back, okay? The brigade. Mm -hmm. Bro, 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 brigade. Gade. Mm. You think that hair's long now? He has a mane coming out right now. Come out. He's gonna come out like Encino Man. Crazy. He's gonna be, he's gonna caveman on someone. Yeah, we gotta calm him down before he comes out. Finally, I get to come out of solitary confinement. Being locked up in there was the worst scenario I've been through so far in the house. It's like a breath of fresh air, man. I, I can't explain how excited I am to get out of that room. You look hot. It's a good outfit. <laughs> I, know. I lay eyes on Kristen in the hippie tard, and she's looking good, but you know what? We're still trying to hide what we have. I can't be jumping all over her like Brendan or Rachel would be. It's not what you expected? Mm -mm, not at all. we are not even close. Did I mention that she looks good in the hippie tart? She looks good. The boys, Brendan, Hayden, and Enzo won the luxury competition and they get to watch the other guys. And because I'm HOH, I get to watch it with them. Yay! <laughs> Cheers to the other guys. Cheers to the other guys. Let's do it. I've been in solitary confinement, man. I need to get away. I cannot wait to watch the movie. It's something that I need, and I'm very excited. This is the best ever. 
Little date night. Oh, with two yeah. chaperones. For movie night, me and Hayden were definitely the chaperones. Uh, I don't want to see these two uh, whisper sweet nothings to each other, butterfly kisses. If I see something like that happen, I'm definitely going to put a stop to it. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Let's go do some damage. Let the dragon lose nope. time. <laughs> what the hell is that? LRB. Little River Band. This music makes me feel like I'm going shopping for a training bra. <laughs> <laughs> that girl is hilarious. Yeah. Uh, for the next two weeks, we're going to have to hear movie quotes. Movie quotes that we don't understand. Yeah. I'd have loved to have seen it. You no. Know. Wahlberg and Wolf Air are awesome. They're just hilarious. To top it all off, I was in there with my girl. So I had my first movie date with my girlfriend. Thinking about using the POV. I don't know. Like, I really think it would be smart for you to use it. Because do you think, really, Rachel and Brendan have your back? Of course they don't have my back, and of course I don't have theirs. Why did you play this game personally, Hayden? But you can't play like you're afraid of me either. Like this game is about making big moves at certain times. If you make the move and Kathy goes up, you have Kristen and I having your back till the end. If I knew that Kathy would go up, I would do it. You go talk to Rachel and Brendan and offer them some sort of like one or two week deal if they will put Kathy up in your place. Kathy will go home and then this whole house will vote them out next week. I have no problem with that. Now if I if, say that happens, I give them the two week deal and I went HOH. -H, I gotta put them up. I gotta back them. You have to put them up. I feel like this is a win-win situation for me because I saved Hayden, so I'm gonna have his loyalty. Kathy won't be upset with me because I'm not the one who put her up on the block, Rachel was, and I know I could sit pretty for weeks and weeks and weeks. If everything goes to plan, this is a no-fail situation. If you'll have that conversation, I'll do it. Come in. What up, yo? What up, man? If you want to just come in here, dude, she's just doing her hair. So what's up, Hayden? Oh, well. What up? Kristen and I, our backs are against the wall. Like, if Kristen goes home, like, I literally have nobody in the house. But the only people we have are each other. We've had to fight to stay here. 90% of the house gunning for you, and you guys have got another jury house on your own? Yeah. What you guys done is great. But I think if we can put what's happened aside, we could possibly make something out of this. And then we would have four strong competitors going forward together. You guys need somebody to help you. I know we do. Nobody else down there is gonna do it. But we also need people we can trust. You can take a chance with us and get a huge gain. And if you don't take the chance, it's gonna be exactly the same as if you did take it. It's a win-win for you. But what deal are you guys making with Brittany that she's going to use the POV on you? Just be honest with me. If you guys want us to trust you, you have to be 100% honest. What like, deal did you Brittany make with about Brittany? Taking her, I told her out. if I win HOH, -H, she's not going up. She knows that. But and that means that you have to go against Lane. That means you're going to have to go against Enzo. That means you're going to have to go against all your other friends, Hayden. Are you really going to this put is up a, this, your friends? This is a game, and I think that we should play it like it's a game. I think so, too. We need to put the whole friendship thing aside and do what's smartest for us to keep us in this game. All we need out of you guys is to put up a replacement nominee. Do you need us to put up Kathy? That's the only... That's the only person, person that would say guaranteed. that. You're not rough and But it's still not even guaranteed, and It honestly, is a guarantee. Kathy's the only person. I know. 
that can go home. You guys understand like what you're talking about is going to really shake the house. Yeah. Well, it's definitely going to be the strongest move in the game. If the four of us could work together and stick together, it would be huge, like game changing. I don't see that there would be any way for people to get rid of us and we would make it to Final Four. However, do I even trust them? I just don't know. Again, we have to stress that nobody Dude, well, yeah. no, because there's no nobody can nobody find can out know. anything like we're done. What's up? No way. No way. I have to talk to her tonight and make sure that we're both on board with everything. This is going to be a night real big for all of us. Yeah, I agree. If I win each week next week, when I put them up, they're going to be beautiful. Okay. I know, like this is a game changer. We're going to be remembered. What is going on? Did Hayden ask you to, for you to use a POV? Yeah. He like made me an offer. He did? That's huge. Hayden's not the target anyways. No. So if Hayden comes off of the block. But then who do we put up? Yeah. The only person I can put up is Kathy without pissing off the house. If you still wanted Kristen to go home, she still would. You think over Kathy though? Yeah, like I think if that's what you wanted. What if I were to put up someone else? Like who? Lane. I don't like floaters in this game at all. You don't know where they stand. They're dangerous players. I would definitely say Lane is kind of a floater. Oh, really? I don't know. Lane, No, who said anything about Lane? I do not want Lane to go up on the block. Now that Lane's name has been used, I'm gonna have to rethink this. Bottom line is, if I'm gonna use it, it's gonna be a decision that you and me make together. I'm just trying to secure my safety in this house. So I'm not willing to burn my bridges with Brennan and Rachel, but I want this deal from Hayden and Kristen. One of them is a bolder, more risky move, but both of them could help me equally well. Kristen and I basically just threw out this alliance as bait. If this plan works, it's bulletproof. No matter who wins next week, Kristen and I are safe. The brigade is safe. Genius! Hey everyone, it's time for the veto meeting. This is the veto meeting. Hayden and Kristen have been nominated for eviction, but I have the power to veto one of the nominations. I would like to give both of you a chance to tell me why you think I should use the power of veto to save you. Hayden, you can go first. Well, Brittany, if you use the veto on me, I promise later on down the road, it's gonna benefit both of us. Um, no matter what you choose to do, there's gonna be no hard feelings, and I think you'll make the right decision. Ultimately, I ended up in a really bad position. I'm up here and I feel like I really don't deserve it. Um, I feel like I was thrown under the bus and I just ended up here. I want to stay in this house and I will do whatever it takes. I need help and I'm asking for some, so that's it. 
Everyone else in this game thinks change minute by minute, and this decision for me in particular has been really, really hard. I feel like both of you guys do deserve to be here. Um, I think that you're both really strong competitors, and I think that um, you guys are great. This has been really tough, you know, weighing good and bad and what could come out of this decision because either way, I feel like this is a really big, big, big decision in this game. And all that being said, I have decided not to use the power of veto. This veto meeting is adjourned. What just happened? I got slapped across the face. Brittany was supposed to pull me off the block and use the veto. Now I'm sitting here next to Kristen. One of us is going home, guaranteed. This sucks, man. I am so relieved that Brittany did not use the power of veto. Yeah, maybe lost out on some super alliance, but I really didn't trust Hayden and Kristen anyways, so no big loss. Ultimately, I couldn't use the power of veto because I couldn't risk that Rachel would put Lane up instead of Kathy. I don't want to lose any of the allies that I already have. It just worked out best for my game. I have to take it upon myself to go against the person that I care most about in this game. I would love nothing more than to stay here in this house and completely outrage Rachel and send her home packing. Who will be evicted from the Big Brother house? Hayden or Kristen? And who will become the new head of household? Find out live tomorrow at 8, 7 central on Big Brother.